So several months ago I made a guide showing how to install AMD's RockM on Linux, along with PyTorch, Stable Diffusion, and YOLO object detection. But over the last several months, AMD has been actively updating RockM, and as a result the installation method has changed. So today I'll be going over what has changed and do an updated guide showing how to install RockM on Linux. I'll be following the written guide that I've updated on my website to make it easier to copy and paste the commands. So let's head over there now. The link to it is in the video description. So like I just said, this guide not only shows how to install RockM, but also shows how to install PyTorch along with a few applications such as YOLO object detection and stable diffusion. But the only section that has changed is the first part for RockM. The rest of the guide is unchanged. The new steps were copied directly from AMD's official instructions and I provided the link here in case you wanted to take a look at the documentation. I decided to copy the necessary steps to my site to make it easier for you to copy and paste them, since the format in which AMD provided these steps were a little messy. Some people might get confused on what to copy and what not to copy since they left comments right next to the commands. So following the steps on my website should be more straightforward. But before I start the installation, let's first spend a few minutes talking about which distros are supported and which GPUs are supported. So when it comes to distros, RockM officially supports Red Hat Linux, SUSE Linux, and Ubuntu, and they provide instructions for all three. Since Ubuntu is the most popular distro out of these, that's what I'll be covering in this guide. Arch and Fedora based distros don't have official support, but they still work fine. So at the end of the video I'll quickly go over how to set it up on Arch based distros since the process is extremely simple. If you're a Fedora user, unfortunately I don't have much experience with it, so I won't be covering it in this guide. Now let's take a look at which GPUs are supported. AMD has given official support for Instinct cards, Radeon Pro, and just a single consumer GPU. But even though consumer GPUs aren't officially supported, this guide should still work with all RDNA and RDNA2 GPUs. Personally I'll be using an RX 6700 XT for this guide. As far as the 7000 series GPUs go, unfortunately I don't own one so I can't confirm whether they're compatible with this guide. So if you're someone who does own a 7000 series GPU, then feel free to share your experience in the comments section since that'll be helpful for others. I know there have been other guides to get the 7000 series working that use Docker images, but it seems those methods are also outdated now as well. For GPUs older than RDNA, it seems that some of these GPUs were officially supported in older versions of RockM, but are no longer supported in the newer versions. You can find old guides that use older versions of RockM that will work with these older GPUs, but again, I don't own any of these GPUs myself so I can't confirm which guides are still functional or not. Most of them appear to be outdated though. Okay, so now let's get on with the installation. I'll be doing this on a system running Kubuntu 22.04, but these steps will work on any Ubuntu based distro such as Linux Mint. Also this method uses the package manager which is pretty nice since it'll keep these packages updated. Alright, so the process is pretty simple. We'll just copy and paste each command into the terminal and make sure to do it one command at a time. These first two commands convert the package signing key. Now we'll add the repository for the driver. Since the latest version is 5.7 we'll first copy and paste this line. Now the next few commands will depend whether you're running Ubuntu 20.04 or 22.04. Since I'm running 22.04 I'll copy and paste these commands. Now we can install the driver with this command. This might take a while to complete. Once it's finished make sure to reboot your system before continuing. Once you're back in, the next thing we need to do is add the repository for the RockM software packages. Again, this will depend on which version of Ubuntu you're running, so I'll copy and paste the commands for 22.04. 
Now we can install the rockm packages with this command. This will also take some time to finish installing. Once that's done, there's a few more commands we need to enter to make sure the library paths are linked. So go ahead and copy and paste these commands. Alright, so now the rest of the steps will be almost exactly the same as they were in my previous video. So instead of repeating the exact same steps again, I'll just leave the link to that other video on the screen here, and also leave it in the video description, and you can continue the guide from there. You'll want to continue starting from the other requirements section. But there are two small differences I wanted to point out. The first is that originally the instructions included a command to install the NVIDIA CUDA toolkit. But it turns out this package is no longer required for PyTorch to work, so you'll want to skip that step. Another small difference is that you'll want to make sure you're running a Python virtual environment before installing PyTorch and other packages with pip. But the written guide on my website is all up to date and has the correct instructions, so just follow that and you should be good to go. Now let's quickly go over how to install this on an Arch-based distro. The process is surprisingly easy, especially when compared to the steps we just did for Ubuntu. Both the GPU drivers and the Rockm software are included within the OpenCL-AMD package. So all you need to do is install this with Pacman and then afterwards continue the guide from the other requirements section. And finally, if you got YOLO installed and running then I suggest you also check out my DIY smart security camera playlist if you're interested in doing a customized project that takes advantage of YOLO. The Python program I made allows you to specify certain objects that the camera will look out for, and it will only start recording when it detects one of these objects you've specified. And if you own an NVIDIA GPU, I've also done a video guide showing how to install NVIDIA's CUDA on Linux. So check that out if you're interested. Alright, so that wraps up today's video. If you found it helpful, then be sure to give it a thumbs up, and also consider subscribing to the channel if you want to get more content like this. Also, if you have any questions, then feel free to ask in the comment section below. As always, thanks for watching, and see you next time.